Hello students, today we are going to discuss about modern electronic theory of static electricity. To understand static electricity and its nature, we must first understand the basic of matter. In our lower classes, we have already learned what is a matter. If we look into a matter, we can find small tiny particles called atoms or the basic constituent in a matter is atom. Right? So, let us consider this is an atom. In an atom, you can find protons, electrons and neutrons. What all things you can find? You can find protons, electrons and neutrons, right? So, where in an atom you will be able to find protons, electrons and neutrons? You will be able to find protons and neutrons at the center of the atom called as nucleus. So, here you will be able to find protons and neutrons. For protons is represented with positive sign and electrons is represented with negative sign and neutrons are electrically neutral. Electrically neutral. So, I will repeat what all things we have learned that we have started learning about the theory modern electronic theory of static electricity to understand that we should have a good idea about matter. So, matter is made up of atoms in atoms we can find protons, electrons and neutrons which carries positive negative as well as neutron is electrically neutral. So, coming back to the uh, construction of an atom. You can find protons and neutrons in the nucleus and electrons will be revolving around the nucleus along a path called orbit or shell. Orbit or shell. So, in the nucleus you can find protons and neutrons and in the outermost shell or uh, the path wherein the electrons revolve around the nucleus is called as an orbit. Okay. So, these many things we know now. So, now we are going to understand about static electricity. Now, as I already told, protons carries a positive charge and electrons carries a negative charge. Now, the electrons, there will be n number of what this orbit or shell. So, the electrons which is revolving on the outermost shell of a atom are called valence electrons. I repeat, the electrons which revolve around the nucleus, the in the outermost orbit is called as what? Valence electrons. Beyond that outermost shell, if any electron is revolving around the nucleus, those electrons will be relatively very, very, very weak in its strength. So, those electrons are considered as free electrons. Now, we know what is static electricity. Electrons which are at rest or else we can say charges which are, which are at rest are called as static electricity, right? So, if we want to charge a body as we have already discussed in our previous lectures, that is we need to transfer electrons. So, how we can transfer electrons? Let us see. So, we know that uh, here in the outermost shell, we will be having what? Electrons and those electrons which is beyond this outermost shell are free electrons, right? So, actually if we are considering an atom, there will be equal number of protons and electrons, which means number of protons, number of protons will always be equal to number of electrons, okay? So, if the number of protons is 5 in the outermost shell, you can find 5 valence electrons. Okay, so when a body is transferring electron from one body to another, one will be losing electron and other will be gaining electron, right? As I have already told, in an atom, number of proton will be always equal to number of electron. But what, what we are learning about? We are learning about static electricity. We know that when we transfer energy or transfer charges from one body to another, we can transfer charges from 
one body to another. So when we are transferring charges from one body to another, either the number of protons will be increasing or else the number of electrons will be increasing. Right? So now we know that if a body is transferring electrons, one will be gaining and other will be accepting the electron. Right? So if an atom is accepting electron, then what will happen? In that particular atom, the number of electrons will be more than the number of protons. If it happens, then the total net charge of that particular atom will be what? Negative. Because there, right now, they are having more number of electrons. Right. When, when a body or when a body accept what? Electrons. Then the number of electrons will be more. At the same time, the atom or the body which had donated the electron, then there the number of protons will be increasing because from here they had given one electron to the neighboring or the other atom, right? So the one who had donated, there the number of protons will be more than number of electron and in the atom wherein uh, the electron had been accepted is what will be negatively charged or the number of electrons will be more in that particular atom. So students, now we have understood what the theory of static electricity, how we can make use of static electricity.